The past month of bad weather took a toll on my sinuses, so I got the sinus infection. Yeah, that's like the worst. I um, sinus infections just suck. I feel like they just take so much out of you and like the sinus headache is just awful. So much pressure around your eyes and around and like around your temple and like it just it just makes you feel miserable. I haven't had a sinus infection in a while, but I always feel like super congested regardless. And I've gone to the doctor being like, I have some sinus thing and they're like, ah, you're fine. Like they can't find anything wrong with me, but I know something is weird. I just don't know what the hell it is. But it's been like that for a while now. OK, so over here, we're going to continue on this way and get this one over there. I'm already almost out of floss. What is this? These were very short lines of floss I had going on here. We're going to grab a little bit more, probably go through all three of them, I would imagine, with the amount of stitches we have going on here. It's very minimal jumping, though, so it's not like I'm wasting floss. You have lots of pain in all the sinus points and makes me feel like my IQ drop like a million points. I know you get like this brain fog. It's just hard to think with a headache like that. It's just hard to think with a headache like that. Mm. Okay, we'll go do those in a bit. We're going to just go. Oh, actually, how's that going to work? I guess I have to. Okay. I'm going to have to jump a little bit. I have to jump a little bit. Because, like, the other part, I, I, this is not the same color. That's going to be, like, a very dark, like, visor thing or whatever. It's, like, almost black, but not quite black. So, Milky, do you like to play any games? What are you, uh, what are you a big fan of? We do a lot of trophy hunting over here. We're going through a lot of JRPGs this year. Currently on Persona 5. We're going to be back with that tomorrow. Haven't played since Wednesday. We've got a lot of stuff to do, to do though. Uh, whoop. Okay, erase that, erase that. Okay, so we got three stitches to do here. Three stitches to do here. Back over this way. Now we're gonna have to jump down into that lower portion. We have to skip the visor. Skip the visor down to the bottom here. And now we're going to basically go back up to finish the rest of these that I wasn't able to do on the other side. We're running out of floss, though, so I'm going to have to get another pin stitch in very soon. We'll grab more floss and then we'll finish off the rest of these bottom areas. Or the rest of the bottom of the helmet, I mean. Okay, we're going to jump across. I'm going to start going upwards. I think we're going to pin stitch on the top stitch here. What is with the singing? I don't like singing in my soundtracks. Anyone know what game this is from? I feel like I recognize it. Anyone recognize this? Farner Sis called her own kid a real COVID kid today with all the anti back and such going on as he was born for two plus years. He's sick at least once a month, almost almost twice a month. Damn, Missy, that sucks. That really sucks, Misty. It's a different time, man. Everything's everything's changed. Okay, so we're going to grab more floss now. So yeah, does anyone recognize this? What is it, what is it from? Oh, okay. I get it. Some people might know this song, actually. Quite a few of you. Like he grew up sprinting... Uh, Printing his hands, he grew up licking rails basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna chop this all off. There you go. I don't know if I'll use all three of these, but I'm I'm pretty sure we probably could. 
Can anyone guess what this is from? Give me a clue to the song. It's I know the song, but I can never name them. I don't know what the, just what game it's from. It's from um, it's from a Final Fantasy game. That's probably the, a, a much too big a hint. I should have just said Squaresoft game, but then then again, everything is almost Final Fantasy. Oh, his sanitizing his hands. OK, it sounds kind of like from pre 90s. No, nah, it's not. It's not that bad. Sounds like it's pre it's pre 90s. I mean, <clears throat> the thing is, it could be a song that was like, you know, not made specifically for Final Fantasy. It sounds like it probably isn't. It sounds like it's like a song they just, you know, put in Final Fantasy, which whichever one this was. I almost said it. I almost said it. I never actually played this entire one, so you've never seen me play it. I've I, I own it. I've never I've, I never played more than I think the first disc. I'm not even sure if I have all the discs. Though. I think I lent one to a friend and I never got it back. Um, there was that eye on you on you song. That eye on you song, yeah. So this one was is from Final Fantasy IX, apparently. This one's from Final Fantasy IX. I would imagine maybe near the end of the game, maybe during the credits. As Eyes on You is from Final Fantasy VIII. I'm not sure. This one's called Melody of Melodies Melodies of Life. Is that what it's called? I think it's Melodies of Life. Yeah. But yeah, I never really beat Final Fantasy IX. Apparently the plat is pretty savage. It's a huge grind. You have to kill like 10,000 enemies, which is just obscene. Like I think Final Fantasy VIII, you have to kill like 1,000 enemies or something like that. Get into 1,000 battles. I think at some point near the end of the game, I just kind of grinded that out all in one spot. Go to four times speed and just go around getting into fights and beating enemies until I finally got the plat I finally got the trophy. It didn't take too, too long to do, but like 10,000 is... 10 times longer than that and I have to do that near the end of the game and I still have to grind for it for a bit just because of you know it's a lot of fighting sometimes and I didn't do a lot of the fights I was trying to stay pretty low leveled so I, I, I didn't really do any fights I didn't have to I did some but not a lot so we leveled up a little bit but not that much Final Fantasy VIII is very unique in that way. Okay, back down here. We're almost there. What else do we got here? So what's good? I'm doing good, Abs. How you doing, man? Hopefully you're having a good day. What is up? How's your weekend been? What have you been doing? And Misty, so that was Norn English. So it's because they've been sanitizing too much. I mean, sanitizing his hands. That makes a lot more sense. Just been making memes, all the memes. I'm so bad at that. I wish I had that skill, but I can't make memes. What is this? Of course, I was literally just looking at this. Wait, what? Oh, that's weird. It's still going, but apparently it's very quiet. Unless my thing just bugged. I don't get it. It's still moving. I don't get it. What even happened? It's supposed to be Sugun and 3 right now. Andy, you want to see a game? What game do you want to see? That was weird. Game with the best soundtrack? I grabbed two games, Andy. I grabbed two games. I'm going to stump him one day. 
I grabbed two games. Um, a spirit oh, means to sanitize your hands in Norwegian, so I mixed it in the ultimate way. Okay, okay. Oh, good prompt. I remember a news channel with a funny clip of the parents spraying their kids down with disinfectant when they picked them up from school. Totally got the kid in the face. That's terrible, Hugh. My God. Okay, so I got two. One of them uh, had to be this because I think the sound, the, the Catherine soundtrack is by far the most underrated thing ever. This game is super incredible. I love it. We played it twice. We have alerts for it. Um, we, we got an emote about edging. We're playing Persona 5 right now, and a lot of the soundtrack from this game is in Persona 5 because it's the same team, same composer. It's freaking ridiculous. If you've never played Catherine, if you've never seen it, I have a playthrough of it up on my YouTube. You can go check it out. It's a batshit crazy game. It's so good. Definitely check it out. Chronica dropping the 69 bit. He's getting that lewd Catherine here. Oh, the underboob one is so good. The other one, though, I grabbed another one. The Saboteur. Old PS3 game. Fucking sick. It's an open world kind of like stealthy action game where you're basically going around sabotaging Nazis in occupied France. And the thing is, this game has a fantastic soundtrack. It's all super jazzy, um, like old school jazz. It's so fucking nice. Yo, Wits, Catherine is amazing. Um, what does this say? This actually says nothing about the story at all. Inspire the resistance, change the city of Paris with your acts of defiance, and encourage the citizens to fight back against the occupation. Get revenge, infiltrate enemy territory, and hunt down the man who destroyed your life. Um, I wish you had told me more on the back of this. I feel like PS1 games, PS2 games, Super Nintendo stuff, like the back of the box used to have so much about the game, and that literally told me nothing. It's a fucking sick game though, definitely check it out if you- I don't even know where you can buy this or where you can get it. I don't think you can play it on anything modern, maybe on PC, but very good game. I actually want to go through it at some point, but a really, really cool soundtrack. The map goes from black. Yes, so everything is everything that's occupied by the Nazis in France is black and white. But when you liberate it, it becomes colored, which is really fucking cool. Like the game is so sick. It was a great open world adventure. But yes, Andy, I I, I kind of want to go through it and play it. It was really really cool and has such a good soundtrack. Maybe at some point we'll do a playthrough of it. I got that PS3. It works. Maybe when I have it hooked up to DDR, we'll play it anyways. I did a lot of the trophies. I thought I got the plat originally, but apparently I, I don't think I ever synced it. So I have some of the trophies, but not all of them. But I thought I out, went out of my way to get the plat for it, but apparently I never did. At one point, my PS3 was stolen along with a lot of my games, including that game. I had to rebuy that actually more recently at a flea market over the last couple of years. Chronica, how are you doing today? Thank you very much for the biddies. I really appreciate that. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm hardcore disappointed that you didn't bring back Bring back Stardew. Stardew does have a great soundtrack, but it does indeed have a great soundtrack. You're not wrong there. But Stardew's in the other room because Isabel plays it all the time. Saboteur was awesome. That region going from gray to color when you liberate it was cool. It was a really cool lefty. It's such a great game. I was never a fan of that genre, but that game made me find a niche love for a few of that style. You mean the open world ones or Catherine Necro? Shit. Okay, slowly making my way through here. There's a weird thing there that I tried to fix by pulling my... Oh, shit. Where the fuck? Good, that's... You wanna know what this song is reminding me of right now? It's reminding me of the end of or part of the um the song from Robin Hood Men in Tights when she's singing Marion Marion That's what this is reminding me of. I don't know why. Both okay. That's what this is reminding me of, Robin Hood Men in Tights. You see it now? It's the first thing that popped in my head. A little bit less now, but the beginning, definitely. I love that movie. Can't believe Mel Brooks is coming out with something new, like a series. Friggin' History of the World Part 2 or 3. 
Should be pretty sick. Excited for that. I don't know the last time Mel Brooks came out with anything. I haven't seen all of his stuff. I've seen a number of it, but I should watch some of his older back catalog. I'm doing good. The typical Sunday stuff, laundry and gold. Roy Schroeder did some Omno today. Nice. How are you like an Omno? I'd be down to see you play it. Yeah, Andy, I need to play that. It's such a sick game. Bad excuse, but I'll accept it this time, Chi Chi. Okay, so this is the eye, so I'm not doing that. Or that's the visor, I should say. So let's keep going down. Let's keep going down. Yeah, this part definitely 100% Marion. Freaking Mel Brooks. We watched um, Dracula Dead and Loving It a little while ago. Has anyone seen the the trailers for Renfield? That looks ridiculous. Friggin' Nicolas Cage's Dracula looks so batshit crazy. It looks friggin' jokes, though. I'm liking it. It's uh, so pretty. Really into puzzle games at the moment. Yeah, well, they're a lot of fun, honestly, Chronica. And some of them are, like, you know, straightforward and simple and pretty quick, and you can get through and feel happy that you beat a game and stuff like that. And they're... You know, it's it's inventive enough that it feels, you know, it's it's pretty fun, but it's not too abnormally crazy. Sometimes those games can get really batshit crazy and you're just like, I don't know what it wants me to do. And that isn't fun. Nice. Cage of Vampire is a dream come true. Yeah. In the cage. It looks freaking amazing. Uh, every time someone mentions Omno, I can't help but think of the cookie monster going om nom 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 nom. It's a cute little game. Okay, now that this one's done, what is this even from? It must be another Final Fantasy. Like, what is this one? This one is from, this one's the Final Fantasy VIII, Eyes on Me. There you go, Bay. This one is the Final Fantasy VIII song. Why do I not remember this being at the end of Final Fantasy VIII? Was this the credits? When did they play this? Hmm. Chicken noodle soup yum, yeah. That is very good. I, w I was waiting for Sappy Song, I Know Bay, right? I didn't even realize until I'm like, man, this is like very... And I played Final Fantasy VIII right before the PS5 came out. It's been so long, it's crazy. That was over two years ago. I can't believe it's been that long since I played Final Fantasy VIII. That was right after I beat Alien Isolation, actually, I think. Man, what the hell happened to time? What is even going on? What the fuck? So similar. Okay, down here now. Let's keep moving on. Theo wants to join in on the Solaire stitching. He just jumped up on to watch us, yeah. So how is the how is the second one going, Misty? How far along are you? Are you doing the border? How are you stitching this one? Are you doing the exact same way as you did last time? Yo! BMW fan. 3,300, I should say. BMW, how you doing, BM? Welcome in. What is up? Thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. You a big racing fan? Or what kind of games do you like? Are you a crafter? Have you ever cross-stitched? I'm doing good. How are you doing, BM? Welcome in. We're doing this Solaire Stitch. Kind of only once a month. We're probably going to finish this helmet before we're done. I, I really wish I could do some of the hands, but I'm not sure if we're going to have the time. You're doing great. I'm glad to hear that. What have you been up to this weekend? I stitched yesterday, hung out with some friends, played some Ticket to Ride, which was a lot of fun. They might play some more board games tonight. We've got a little bit... We've got about an hour left of the cross-stitching before we get into the guessing game. So we're we're going to be on for a little bit more than an hour. I've already been going for nearly five hours. It's been a, it's been a fun afternoon so far. 
I just started thinking maybe doing the 310 last this time so I can test out ending with pin stitches and hide them under the black stitches. That's probably smart, Misty. Almost done with the feather. Look in photo booth when you have time. You need to see what taxi got you. What did taxi get you? Yo, okay, thank you, Jody, for popping the, the picture there. Fantastic, or the recipe. We got stuff in the cross stitch. What do we got here? I'm making new swords for metal. That's really sick, BMW. Blacksmithing. Oh, shit, look at that, Heather. Working on the Gengar. Ooh. That's gonna look really cool when you're done. Very cool, Heather. And there, Kitty's got the little heart out there outlined. You're doing that on 14 count, I would imagine. It looks pretty cute. Then we got, what do we got over here in the photo booth? Oh, an Astro's Playroom? That's really cool. Is it like a, it's, it's, it's almost like a Funko Pop, you know? That's super cute. These things are adorable. I love that game. It was super cute. Oh, Necromancer has got some kitties. Aw, so cute. Oh, Debbie's got the doggo all hanging out on top. <laughs> Two doggos. The cuddle bugs. Where did you get that Astro? Yeah, where did you get it? Where did Taxi find it? Is it a Funko Pop or is it something else? It's a Funko Pop on crack. They're four times as expensive, but they pose. Oh, really? Is it is it made by Funko or is it just similar? And they usually have exchange items and faces. Really? Okay. It's a neuro Nendoroid. You can swap parts and make different poses. I love Astros so much in the game. Okay. You got it from GoodSmile.com. Interesting. Okay. Kitty's five of six. My sixth is elusive to photo of photos, apparently. Six cats. My goodness. We only got two. We got Iris and Roxy. Iris eats basically whatever the hell she wants and doesn't gain any weight. And Roxy um, is just eats the same thing and gains so much weight. She's a big girl. She's a bigger cat in general, but she's also a bit chonky. She's not like fat. Like, I mean, she's fat. She's not obese. She's a little fat. Just like IRL, I'm missing pieces. Oh no. You're missing pieces, Jody? Taxon almost bought a home, brought home another kitten last week? Oh really, why? How, what happened? How did that happen, you know? I have a Majora's Mask like, oh, a Nendoroid. I want so many, but they're even more expensive than Pops. I'm not made by Funko, but it's collectible figurines. Okay, okay. How much more expensive are they? Funkos aren't that expensive. They're not cheap when you buy like, you know, a hundred of them. But if you only buy a couple, they're not that expensive compared to like other collectibles, I guess. How much more expensive are they? Of course, I keep grabbing fluff from the back. Okay, now that we're done with most of the sort of annoying part of the stitch. It's basically just going all the way down here now because the rest of this is all these stitches. So we got about, uh, yeah, I should be able to finish the helmet at least. At least that's my goal. If we have to go a little bit more extra overtime than I was expecting, we'll finish the helmet. If we have a little bit of extra time, we'll do some of the hands, but that's all we got. Anodroids are so cute. Really, Koi? You like them a lot? He was up for adoption through the same rescue we got Storm at, and he was just so friendly and sweet and cute. Aw. What stopped you guys? You pay about 150 DKK for a Funko. Droids are 600 plus. Wow, okay. Interesting, interesting. That is a lot more expensive. You're right. And they've been around for longer than Funko. Really, Koi. Five are blood family. Oh, really? The youngest just sort of decided to appear and stay. Personally, I own two and a few finish. The rest are family members. Okay. Finish? You mean fish? A few fish? Finish? And depending on the nano droid, it's probably around 40 to 60. Wow, that is a lot more expensive. I have a Mickey from Kingdom Hearts, and he was like 40 bucks. The 40 is not too bad, I guess, but that is still a lot more expensive than a Funko. Funkos are like $15 Canadian. 
So I can only imagine how much those are in Canadian. Like, I think they're between 10 and $20, Funko, usually. A lot cheaper. I think it depends which one you get. I think they're usually 10 to 15 Sometimes there might be more expensive ones, but... Usually they're that cheap. Fish, that's what I figured. Okay. Can I post mine? Uh, my two best metal swords? For sure, BMW. Go into pop into the Discord and show me what you got. Go into the crafting section. Drop some uh, pics of the swords. I'd love to check it out. Blacksmithing always... Like, I love medieval stuff. I used to always love that. And um, it uh, would be a really sick skill to have. Then again, you also need a lot of room. That's, uh, that's pretty sick, smithing. There's, uh, well, there's places that make it out of acrylic and stuff like that, not necessarily metal, but that's a different type of craft for sure. It's a national Putsin day. Is it dueling? My goodness. Maybe we should get Putsins tonight. Probably not. Maybe we can make our own Putsin. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. I don't think we have any fries, though. We'd have to get some fries. I think we have potatoes that we can probably cut our own and make fries. Maybe we'll make our own puts in. We don't have gravy though. We'd have to do something. Uh, there will always be other kittens to impulsively get. That's true, Devilman. We were trying to be adults and not bring home another kitten impulsively, but I was still thinking about him today. And we saw he got adopted when I checked their website, so happy ending, even though I don't have a third cat. I hear you, Yamino. Devilman, how's your dog doing? Nendos have joints, multiple parts. They're not just molded plastic, don't get me wrong. I love Funkos. Needles are cooler. Fair enough, Chi-Chi. I don't have either, so I mean, I have no I have no horse in this race. I haven't even I never even heard of those other ones, honestly. Uh go into the Discord and go down into the crafting section and put it in the show me what you got spot. And yo, Candy Cane, welcome in. How you doing, dude? It depends on which Funko you get. The ones they I've picked up are usually 20 to 30. Really, Drea? Some of the ones I really want that can't I, and can't justify are really Drea. Really? I don't think we I like we used to have a lot of them at the chapters that I worked at, and they were usually fairly relatively inexpensive, but I guess it really depends on which type they are. I haven't really looked into anything too Funko related, but uh, damn, though, so though they can get a lot more expensive than I thought. I'm trying to talk to ta you're trying to talk taxi into it. That's what Isabel keeps trying to do to me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Try to convince me to get a third cat. Yes. More animals. Yes. Taxi and Yumino almost adopted another one. A fourth? A third. A third. Yeah. She's doing well. Uh, we're kind of thinking about getting her a friend. Are you serious, Devilman? Another dog? You already uh, you already got like two cats. Two cats and a dog? Although most people seem to be tending to tell me not to get a second dog. It's a lot of extra work, man. She has friends, they're just cats. You're doing pretty good, Candy Cane. What have you been up to, man? How's your Sunday been going? Different lies in. If it's brand new in stores or if it's a collectible, they tend to have a flat price in stores and then they go wild. That's true. Private reseller is definitely a, a bit different for sure. A bit different for sure. Most of the time, odd conversions is the issue. So our game shops are expensive. Yeah, well, you guys have like import fees, no? So it's like a lot more expensive to get stuff in Australia because of that, right? I love Isabel's enthusiasm. Low three cats and a dog. Oh, three cats. I thought it was just two, but cats are super e so easy. I barely count them. But still, man. Not to mention it's fucking expensive. Litter, food, the, uh, the dog food, like double dog food. Like, it's not exponential in price, but it does add like a good extra 50% at least. Like, you're not doubling your price, but it's, it's definitely a good 50% extra minimum. You know, you can always get bigger bags of food that last longer and stuff like that, or... Wait, I post in cross-stitching? Pop it in, show me what you got. I have people coming this evening to celebrate my birthday. Yo, Candy Cane, happy birthday, right? Candy Cane, happy birthday. Hopefully you had a good one so far. Kind of tired from hanging out with other friends last night. Hopefully you had a good birthday weekend so far, man. 
what did you guys do last night when you were hung out? Did you go out? Did you go out? Did you have people over, or did you go to someone's place? Yet again, another pin stitch. Um, that's what we think, and she's such a friendly, sweet, friendly dog. I think she would love to have a friend to play with when we're busy and stuff. Yeah, three cats. Yeah, that's a lot. I had an expensive Funko I sent to a friend, but it never arrived. Oh, it was a Wendigo from Hannibal. Oh my God, Andy, that sucks. It never got there. Stupid postal service. That's the worst. That sucks, Andy. Shipping, most places have stopped in port fees because they have a warehouse in New Zealand or somewhere like they ship it from. Oh, that's not too bad, Necro. Merry birth, miss. Wait, I post and cross it. I didn't hear it. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Let's go have a look. I don't see it in the cross stitch section either. Where are the swords? I think you missed it, BMW. Where'd you pop it? I don't seize. Pop it over here. Pop it over here. Show me what you got. A couple of us went to dinner, then a couple bars. Ooh, then hung out here for a bit. Nice. Sounds like fun. What were you drinking last night? I had a couple of beers and a little bit of... I actually had mead. Mead is very sweet, so you can definitely taste the honey in it. Um, very interesting. I know Chi Chi loves mead. It was the first time I ever tried it. People say it's kind of like port. Porto or whatever. You posted? Don't usually have port wine. It's very interesting, though. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> That's pretty cool, man. That's fucking intricate. That's really sick. And these are all made out of metal. That's fucking sick, dude. Very cool. Very cool. I couldn't even imagine making something like that. I love me, Chi Chi. Mead can be super dangerous. It goes it goes down really easy. That's for sure, Andy. It definitely goes down easy. Um, and it's like 16%. Like the the alcohol percentage is high and it's super, super easy to drink. You just had some beers? Okay. Nothing wrong with some beers. You just had sewed two strips together for my grind guard. So it's uh, long enough. Takes so damn long, but turned out nice so far. I'm glad to hear that. Did you pop the elastic in yet, or are you just making the outside part first? There's a honey cider they make here that's so good. It's number one for me now. Really coy. Really. I tried actually a, like, um, oh shit. Actually, you wonder what I saw. Guinness is making like a nitro brew, like a coffee stout. <clears throat> I want to fucking try that. That looks delicious. Or it sounds delicious, I should say. I really want to give that a try. No elastic yet. Need to get. I uh, need to eat lunch and then measure that out. Okay. So you're, you're planning on having it done today, poetic. Really shitty about your sewing machine though. It really sucks that it got that it broke. <clears throat> All right. So <clears throat> as we continue going across and down, we're almost at the end here. Although I have a lot of lines to do. God damn. <coughs> Sorry, the coughing. Got that. Got that tickle back. It never quite disappears. It's really annoying. Oh. What in the hell? Every day. It was just refusing my cool Funko facts. What What did you say, Chi Chi? Uh, like a certified signed Stan Lee Funko can go for $500? Holy shit. A, a fi oh my god. I suggest Mucinex. I don't think I've ever had that, actually. I usually down NyQuil at night, but I'm like, I don't feel sick. I just have a tickle that pops up when I talk forever. 
I mean, that makes sense. Stanley is dead, and if you have one that's signed, like, it was, were they sold signed, or did you have to get it signed yourself? Because that's a big difference. Nasal, oh, it's nasal decongestion spray, okay. They went up a lot, yeah, for sure, 100%. But were they pre-signed like on the box by him and and like kind of distributed like that? Or was this more of a you bought a Funko of Stanley and then got it signed? Because I would imagine that would be worth a lot. So when I had to go to an event and get him to sign them. OK, so, yeah, that makes sense why that's worth 500 bucks at least. The sign is draining helps with the decongestion spray. I feel like I'm an expert at this point. Laugh sadly. One bar we went had nitro stout that the can was de decorated to all Halloweenish, so I thought it was gonna be like pumpkin or fall, but it was coffee stout. What's wrong with coffee stout? That's so good though. I've had pumpkin beer before, it's not bad. Sounds like your throat is telling you to shut up. Something like that, Jody. Something like that. Work time. Yo, Bosch, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Good luck with the work. See you soon. Share to pick in the Discord under Crossage. We'll have a look in a bit. A poetic. Give me a sec. And just now find mine. First made sword. The first sword you ever made. How long have you been making for uh, swords for, BMW? You don't like coffee? Oh, you don't like coffee, Candy Cane. Oh, I see. That's what's wrong with coffee? Fair. If, it's, if you're not a fan of it, I can understand. Nice Nitro style will go right through you? Probably. Probably, Andy. I already pee a lot, so I would imagine that would go very fast. Six years now? Wow, that's that's a long time. That's really cool. Okay, across we go. Slowly adding in this color. My goodness. Six years now. That's pretty crazy. Andy, what's your favorite go-to beer? What are you usually crushing? Are you a big Guinness fan? I love me some Guinness. Don't have it quite as often. I had a stout last night and then like a milkshake beer. It didn't really taste like a milkshake beer. I've only ever had like a milkshake stout, which is actually fucking delicious. Um, but this other beer, I don't know. I didn't quite know how to describe it. It was good, but I don't know how to describe it, honestly. I had to get, like, I was going to get Guinness and, like, a bottle of wine. But I was saying before, um, the grocery store that's apparently near us is a closing. And so when I went, it looked like a lot of stuff was just not replenished in the store. And there was, like, barely any options for a lot of things. So it was really weird. So I'm like, are they actually closing? It's very strange. It's like the second one in our nearby area that is going to be closing down in the last couple of months. Um, and this one's a big, a big grocery store, so it's very surprising. Mm. Sometimes it's just not worth it. Worth it. Yo, dang wood. Welcome in. Spiked the coffee just two hours ago. Nice. I had some spiked chocolate, uh, hot chocolate on Friday. I put some Baileys in there. Fucking delicious. Love me some spiked hot chocolate. I don't usually spike my coffee. Every once in a while I will, but... <clears throat> I'm a Coppers Extra Dark. Ooh, Necro. Nice. Best beer is Zoom Linderman's Framboise. Ooh. Sounds good. Tess, I don't think I've ever had it. That's a tough one. It would be a San Miguel for a refresher, refreshing lager, or if I feel risky, a fruity IPA. That's a, oh, that's a that's a stout. I'll have to look for that, Tessa. It's amazing. Best beer is Linderman's Framboise. Hmm. What's the zoom part? Was that just a typo? I don't think I've ever had Linderman's. I'll have to try it out. You like Peroni? Ooh, what's up, Mama Wiz? How you doing? How's your Sunday been? Welcome in. It's nice to see you. Peroni. I don't think I've ever had Peroni either. Maybe I have, actually. Ever drink Baileys from a shoe? Just ignore if you don't get the reference. Uh, I think I do get that reference. Have you ever drank Baileys from a shoe? Uh, what is that from? I can't remember where that's from, Dangwood. Old Greg, old Greg. Oh, that's it. Fucking old Greg. Yes, yeah, someone showed someone sent me a video of old Greg. and I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's the weirdest thing ever. It's so weird. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what it's from. That is so weird. Uh, now I want Bailey's. Bailey's is so good. Lambic is a type of beer brewed in, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, region of Belgium. Some, uh, somewhat west of Brussels and in Brussels itself since the 13th century. Lambic beers include gauze. Lamb, okay, I'll have to check Lambic out. I'll have to check Lambic out. Thank you, Tessa. Yes, the Zoom was a typo. Okay. So weird, but but brilliant at the same time. It is fucking strange. <laughs> don't do anything. I don't even know who this person is. What are you talking about? Yo, Barb Norton. What's up, Barb? How you doing? Welcome in. Thank you very much for that follow. I really appreciate it. Are you a crafter? Have you ever crossed it before? Maybe you're a big Dark Souls fan. What is up? Crack Fox is better in your opinion. You, Shui is the grossest thing ever. <laughs> Doing good. Peroni is Italian. It's excellent with pizza. I think I have actually had that Italian beer. I think I've actually had it. It's been a while. But I think I vaguely remember it. Anyone have Brio? Brio is like an Italian soda. It's so peculiar, but it's so good. I used to hate it when I was a kid, but then I started really liking it as I got older. I don't know why tastes changed like that over the years. It's kind of crazy. Pasta, welcome back. How's the diamond painting going? What is up? Welcome in. You need to fly over here and we can uh, we can nip over to Bruges for some amazing beers. One day, Andy. One day. For sure. That would be a lot of fun. Get all the beers. I red-eyed my hair red again. Oh, you re-dyed your hair red again. Uh, the butterfly DP is like half done. How was that sea of 310? Did you get it all finished? Did you get it all finished? Crack Fox is terrifying. What's Crack Fox? That one I don't know. I would imagine it's another weird ass skit. I would imagine. Slowly running out of time here. My god, this helmet is insane. I think we're going to have the same problem when we finally get... <clears throat> when we do... Like, the big sections... The helmet, the torso, um, the skirts, the legs, the arms, and the shield. Those are the sections. And if that's like... Let's see. <clears throat> um, let's see. If this is all one, that's two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six months. Six more months. We might be done around September. It's quite possible. One section per stream. Although I feel like I can probably do both arms and maybe part of the torso in one, but maybe not the entire torso. Really depends. No worries, BMW. It's all good. <clears throat> in the section I was in, yeah, literally all of this was 310. Goddamn. Kind of adorable as well. Skirt, don't you mean man tunic well it's not the i didn't mean the skirt i mean like just the the lower part of the tunic like the like the the the, the frill the frill of the tunic the skirt part that's all because it's all one gigantic tunic but i meant like because i'm trying to separate the torso from the from the other part right that's what I'm trying to do Hugh. just teasing I know I know I wish we found one we fell in love with but we adopted one oh yo uh, Lydia 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 what's up Lydia how you doing welcome in thank you very much for the follow how you doing are you a crafter have you ever cross stitched before thank you very much for that I really appreciate it <clears throat> mama was how you doing though what are you up to how was dinner did I hear you got another kitty they almost did they, they thought about it but they didn't do it they didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't pull the trigger. I'd like to adopt a senior cat in honor of my Kirby and Lucy. Aww. Isabel doesn't want any more kittens. If she adopts, if she, she wants to adopt a, uh, adopt a more older cat. If we do that, like maybe two or three years old. If we did get a third cat, but there'd have to be a lot of things that line up for that to happen. It's extremely manly to wear a skirt, right, Pasta? And yo! Welcome in, Dangwood. Thank you very much for that follow as well. I really appreciate that. 
So Dangwood, do you do any crafting? I know I see you all over like Captain Cassa and Black Sheep and all the other crafters. Do you craft a lot as well? Do you play any games? What you into? Appreciate the follow though. It's nice seeing you here. Jam. <clears throat> Yo, Jam, did you hear me? They are coming out with a nitro cold brew or like a, a sorry, a nitro coffee stout Guinness. Sounds delicious. I don't know if you saw that yourself. You posted? All right, I'll have a look in a sec. Let me just finish this line or this um, the thread first. BMW, we'll go have a look. What's uh, what's one more cat, right? I guess my main game is Paracord. I feel like I know what that is, but I'm not sure. What's Paracord, Dagwood? Or dang. <clears throat> Zelda right now, I know this one. I hear Zelda fairies, was it? In the Knights era, they would call that part of the armor outfit a tunic. Thinking historically, not gender stereotypes. I know you. Well, I mean, like the top part is a tunic. They would even, I guess the bottom part. I was just kind of referring to how it's like, how it's sitting. That's why I called it the skirt. But I know it is the tunic. Like the entire thing is the tunic. <clears throat> I'm aiming to finish Le Legend of Dragoon for the first time in 23 years. I'm I'm gonna be playing that soon too, dang. Honestly, I never played it when I was a kid, and I my friend was always a big fan of it. And so I'm really excited to hear it's got trophies now. We do trophy hunting over here, as I'm sure you know. But I'm I'm looking forward to getting into Legend of Dragoon at some point. I've never played it. I mean, cats are small and compact and self-cleaning. If you finish this before the end of the year, will you stitch, still stitch on the first side? Of course, you mean 100%. I might do another project, or I might do... I might just continue Dandy Duo, depending on how much panic stitching I need to do. We'll, we'll find out when we're done this, but 100% will still stitch every the first Sunday of every month. That is not going away, even if we're done this. Yeah, now it's Switch Playlist again. I think we're on the Super Nintendo stuff. It's a relaxing Super Nintendo. Goof Troop, I remember playing that and never being able to get anywhere. It was so hard. I was trying to play as co-op, so I played with my dad and we got stuck at the very beginning. 100% <clears throat> panic stitching will occur. I just brushed Theo. I'm pretty sure he gave us another kitty by the amount that got brushed off. Oh, man. Right, the senior cat idea is so sweet. Most of them are very chill. So, Mama was, what were you up to with your Sunday? What was for dinner? Hopefully, you had a good one. If uh, panic stitching doesn't occur, neither does Christmas. It's fine. It definitely is fine, BMW. It definitely is fine. I should steal that, make an emote. I say it's fine all the time. I should either get that damn meme dog as an emote, or I put it's fine. I should probably do that, actually. 100%. Why not? It's the only way I know Christmas is coming. Oh my God, look at this little helmet. What's up, Juna, how you doing? Yes, we're, we're, we're pretty far along. Juna, how's your day been? What's up? Um, and you wouldn't want to ruin Christmas? I know, right? We just want a count. Oh, you want a counter if it's fine, you think? I don't know, man. So many counts on this. I was making a moat, it'll be funnier. Everyone can just spam it. You do have a bunch of open emotes. I do. I do have a bunch, Candy Cane. I do have a bunch. Hubby made a homemade shrimp egg. Foo Young is very lucky. Oh, that sounds delicious. We made, uh, we, we had shrimp tacos the other day, actually. Super easy to make. Probably do them more in the future also. Tonight, I think we're just finishing off some leftovers. Tomorrow, we have some pork. We're going to cook up. 
Oh my god, Grinch costume for all the December stitching streams added to the throne? Wait, what? A Grinch costume? Oh my god. A, like a Grinch onesie? Find me a Grinch onesie. Is there one on Amazon? I would imagine there probably is one. Why would I? I'm not a Christmas Grinch, though. What is this? Why? What is this? I'm not a Christmas Grinch. I love Christmas. Need something else associated with panic. Okay, I'm going to get another pin stitch, apparently, because this is my God. These, uh, these this, 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 the however long I made my threads did not last nearly as long as I would have liked. We're just like halfway through this. And I still have more. This must be a lot more stitches than I think it is. Because going through this much floss this quickly like is interesting, I should say. I'm going to try and get as far as I can before I pin stitch because we do have still some floss here. I'm going to get right down to the bottom. Actually, we're going to get to the end of this line and then we'll go pin stitch it. Man, the worst part is I still have that lower part to do also. And we got the eyes. Shit. Now you pop out. Oh, this song. Waterworlds. Amazing soundtrack for this random Super Nintendo game. You're from Latvia BMW. That's really cool. I am from Canada. Okay, definitely running out of floss. I'll pin stitch here. We got close enough to the end. We got close enough to the end. I'm going to pin stitch here. Okay, let's chop this off. Grab more floss. Check out that sword. Let's go have a look. You're exhausted, Juno. What did you do today? Why so exhausted? So many Grinch outfits on Amazon. Oh my god, a onesie of panic from Hercules. Oh my god. And then a pain for cat steak. Oh my god, Chi Chi. That would actually, that's not a bad idea. Panic from Hercules would be pretty legit. I must say that's a very good idea. Very good idea. I've not been erasing this. I've just been going down, not erasing any of these. Which one am I on? I'm on that one down there? Okay. Let's get some of these erased. Give me a second. Okay. I did cross that one over. Okay, so we are down to here. Okay, perfect. Stitches. I have a feeling I'm going to friggin lose thread chicken yet again. Let's go have a look at this. So that's the first one you ever made. Yeah, it looks a little bit more basic. You've definitely grown a lot in the last six years. These ones are so intricate with the handles and stuff. They're really sick. This one's really fucking awesome, too. You can tell that this was the first sword you made. But uh, still, it's amazing progress, honestly. Yo, poetic. Yo, that's awesome. I love I love the, the, the fabric you chose, Poetic. It looks really awesome. Love the controllers. Super sick. Thundercat. Oh, you've been sick all week and today? Oh, and you oh you were you worked and you were sick all week? Damn. To answer your question, paracord? Or parachute cord, basically. Synthetic rope, something that evolved into a crafting material that can still be kind of utility as much or as little as anyone chooses. So that's a video game though? Dang. That's a video game, Dangwood? Love that one, Mama Wiz. Yo, Chicka D, welcome in, how you doing? Can you add a Super Meat Boy plushie to throw in as well for when you play the game? I mean, I could. You can, so Andy, you can suggest gifts on there. Like go on the throne, you can actually send suggestions to me and then I can, I can add them to that directly from the thing. Oh, paracord is the craft. Okay, so what are you doing with the paracord? 
Yes, yes, you can. I'm good, thanks. Just got home from seeing my dad. We had a good evening playing Saga games. Oh, that's cool. You play games with your dad often? I'm doing pretty good, Chickadee. We're almost done this helmet. I want to finish the helmet today at least. Um, it's taken it's taken me a lot longer than I expected. We still got a good half an hour. I should be able to do the rest of this in half an hour, I think. Slowly made my way down here. I do want to do the eyes though, but there's really not that many stitches in the eyes, so probably would only take five or ten minutes. But we do need to do the rest of this. Still a fair amount of lines to go down. Each one of these is like, I don't know, maybe 15 stitches across. Not exactly sure, but we went down a lot. So this is probably a shit ton of stitches. Three or four hundred stitches, maybe. Something ridiculous like that. Then on top of the red feather we did earlier. Um, do I need to go on the Canadian Amazon for it? Um, I would, yeah, do Amazon.ca if you're going to suggest like that. But at the same time, if you find it on yours, I could just switch it to .ca and see if it has it there. Um, and that's it. But yeah, for, for me, it would be easier if you, if you did just get it directly from the .ca one. Just as a suggestion. Currently experimenting and putting my own take on Korean flower knots. Oh, that's cool. What would you, uh, if you want to join the Discord, I'd love to see some of that craft for sure, Dangwood. We've got a great makers and crafting section. Love to check out what you're working on. <clears throat> yeah, every weekend and evening, if I'm not too tired from work. That's really nice, Chickadee. Which Saga game were you playing today? Like, you just play it like alongside each other? Because I know they're not really multiplayer. I have a few of the Saga games. I, I know I have one or two, uh, the first or second on PS1. I don't think I have both, but I definitely have one of them. And I think I have Romancing Saga on the PS2. Unlimited Saga, maybe. I, I remember owning one, or maybe I rented it. It's been so long. I have to, like, look at my list. I never really played them. I just kind of own them. Really bad, though. Have you decided that I'm... I am still listening. <clears throat> I hate how YouTube's asking me if I'm listening or not. Like, why do you care? Give me your bandwidth. <clears throat> oh, very nice. So what am I going to do tonight? We might play ma micro macro. Maybe we'll see. We got to eat. We got to chill, set some stuff up, look at things. We have to, we'd have to learn how to play micro macro anyways. Looks like an interesting little detective board game, though. Excited to try it. Hopefully it's not too complicated to understand. Got to read all the rules. First things first, we got to finish all this cross-stitching, though. But tomorrow we're going to be back with Persona. I'm really excited. Freaking Persona 5. Almost, we're we're going to cross the 90-hour mark tonight. Or tomorrow, I mean. Um, but then, I don't know if we're going to hit 100. We're close. It's possible we're, we're going to be just under 100 hours, I think, at the end of the week. So hopefully we can get into December or October. I mean, no way we're getting to December. We might be able to get into October by the end of the week. I don't know if we'll be able to get to the sixth palace. Definitely going to beat the fifth one tomorrow, I believe, um, provided I don't uh, get too stomped. But I, I want to try to upgrade some of my persona to give myself a little bit of a boost. Like everyone else is a little bit easier because they only have one thing. So as they level up, their other one levels up and that's kind of it. But for me, with all the fusing and the bonuses and all that other stuff, I've been really neglecting my persona themselves. So I need to kind of make them a little bit stronger. I'll post the, the thing I just did, which my Korean friend whose own mother wants to buy was going to make another anyway. But now the interesting value is tenfold, really. Well, that's nice. That must be a good feeling. Was it the first time you worked on it, or you've been perfecting the craft over an extended period of time? Let me know when it's posted. We'll go have a look uh, soon after. I just got to... I think I want to try and finish this entire thing first. 
Although maybe that might be, we just started this floss. It might be a little while before we get to that. I'm hoping we can do this entire area with just this thread. Because I don't want to grab more. Chi Chi, how's the, um, did you continue doing your tatting? I know you said you flip-flopped the colors and you kind of didn't want to do it the way that it ended up turning out, unfortunately. So I don't know if you kind of wanted to restart that or if you pushed forward and did it anyways. I know sometimes that could put a damper on the mood, so it kind of forces you to maybe not want to do it anymore. Then again, you can always just restart. It was looking pretty sweet, though. And the pattern you're doing is really awesome. Can't wait to see it all done. Mm. So yeah, we're listening to the Super Nintendo stuff now. It's not specifically... Like, everything before was, like, relaxing JRPG stuff. Now it's supposed to be relaxing Super Nintendo. Um, I don't feel like it's overly relaxing. It's not bad. It's good. But I don't know how they consider this relaxing. It's nice. It's not bad. It seems like a fighting song more than anything else, though. Uh, we tend to play the same in different games. We just started uh, a chat on the PS5 and catch up all. Oh, OK, so you're both kind of gaming. OK, well, that's really nice. OK, I thought you were kind of like, you know, playing game like the game together or something like that. But that's really nice. I frogged a little bit I had done of the 413 and then I've just been working on the skirt. So I'm at I'm at, I'm at 571 of the night so far. That's really good, Chi Chi. You were ahead of me, though, right? Have you been stitching more or less the same hours as me, the five hours or whatever today? We're going to do about five and a half hours. I know you were a bit ahead of me. Too bad you had to frog, though. Maybe I'll be able to catch up a little bit. I haven't had anything extensively needing to frog, which is nice. We tend to play the same and different games. Okay. 